Here we go, baby. Welcome to the one and only map we've all been waiting for. Alcatraz. Capitals. Now, this blue cap is a special cap. It means the world to me. I have two potential uh, things to go for. I can go sell room exit right. I could 14 v7 oranges cap on the first turn. It's not a good roll. I could go here with the three and get trapped behind my friend red. I could. But maybe he goes here. We're going to play out of the right side today. I already know Orange is going past it. You have to go past it. You would have to be... What is that, a Pokeball? It's like triple star, a three-star Pokeball. You only get elite Pokemon from this guy's thing. That, I'm not fucking with him. He's going to cast a Charizard on my ass. I'm going to stay over here. I'm the plus four. Uh, we're also playing with true random dice, so I'm not fucking around with a giant dinosaur that breathes fire. And true random. Progressive capitals. Alcatraz. True random dice. No fog. No alliances. No portals. But we have blizzards on. Just in case the blizzards do something. Pink goes here. No, because now red's going to even think about... No, red should go on the four in the middle. Green should go lavatory because he's got big balls. Dude, green's caps suck. Green's caps suck. Lavatory is his best. Oh! <laughs> it's a Dragon Ball. It's not a Pokeball. He never plays triangles for me. He only plays triangles despite me on days I'm not here. I like tri Trigons. I played it yesterday or the day before for a main channel video. Had a pretty interesting game. I saw your message, Carl Nelson. Let me see. How many maps have something like the Great Wall of China in uh, with a different gameplay component? It's only that one. Now, they might add more maps with something like that in the future, but... So, Red didn't only not cap in front of me. He capped behind me. Fernard... Fernand Guerra. You want to know what's interesting about this Turkish flag he's rocking? I'm currently rocking the Turkish flag. So, why are you doing this to your fellow countrymen? Tell me, motherfucker. Look at the amount of troops blue and pink have here to fight. These guys are going completely to war. <laughs> I'm going to keep that six there just in case green and orange do some things very, very dumb. Don't smoke me. This baby. Red gets eight troops. He can 15 v 10 me. And if he does, I'm sad. But, well, blue goes next. But blue's got other problems. So if red smokes me and loses, I do get to go before green. So maybe I can retake. Orange out of my way off the five. Nice. Stacks this 11. So I don't know what's happening. Of all the bad caps green could have, he got the worst. He re Oh, dicey, dicey. Not a good dice roll, but it's true random. You expect that stuff. I played an Alcatraz game that looked exactly like this a couple days ago. It was infuriating how lucky the other players were. Sometimes, it, like a lot of people, if you're unfamiliar with Risk or you're you're new, you're gonna. A lot of people are like, well, Risk is a dice game, and you're spawn, so Risk is entirely luck. A lot of people think Risk is like ninety percent luck, and then the better you get on the game, you start realizing it's almost ninety percent skill. Not all settings could be like ninety percent skill. But there is a lot more skill than people realize in the long term. Yeah. And by the green. Please blitz your four. No, don't blitz your four into me, actually, because I don't need Red getting help right now. He's probably going to quit. The Kool-Aid man tried to break through the door. Charizard held strong. Now, if Red 15 v 10s me, it's true random. He might lose two troops like I did on that Rivertown game a couple days ago on stream. Or he might only kill two troops, which in that case, I laugh. Because that's what happened to Green over here. Well, he killed four, but... Taste it. If you want some, taste it. That's what I'm telling you. No? He's trying a two-on-one instead of a four-on-one. You're a strange fellow. Ferdin Fernand is hard to say. I, like, I, you would think it's Ferdinand. Like, Ferdinand. But Fernand. It's like they short-formed his name or something. Couldn't spell it. Yeah, goodbye, Green. He's probably... He probably bought it the slowest way possible by turning his phone off or something. So we actually have to wait the 60 second timer. I wish that wasn't a thing. Kelta's going for the plus 12. What's the... Yeah, I want this. I mean, 11 v 7 blitz into the bongo bong. I mean, maybe pink. No, orange goes before pink. 
Pink's got his own beefs with blue. Blue's blitzing, blitzing, blitz this too. It's here. Uh, I don't want green adding to this four, dude. This problem with red is going to be interesting. Put the seven there. I know it's threatening to orange, but what I really want to do with it is knock red out of the middle. And if orange does something stupid or pink does something stupid with orange in here, it's only pink and orange in here. Right? Green doesn't count as a person anymore. I'm sorry, Kool-Aid, but you're a drink. So if these guys get into a war, bad dice happens. Nobody else really has access to them except for my seven. My seven has first dibs. I don't think anything's going to kick off in here. I don't think orange is going to super greed. So while that's doing its thing, I can line up and hopefully knock red out of the middle. Also, I want red to be forced to add troops in the middle. Right? Like, if he had, any troops he adds to the middle is less that goes on this cap to hit me. Um, maybe he has to blitz. Like, if the two on one fails, if the three on one fails, uh, then he has to try a four on two. If it, like, if all of, all of those rolls could fail in true random, or he could lose a bunch of dice doing it, or he could add a bunch out here to ensure he gets a card, but then this is weaker. Also fine. Wipe red from the map. Yeah, I want to slowly work on that while also making sure I can stack this and guarantee myself cards. Also, this red four probably wants to come down towards my cap, so I'll let him hit the blue two. I don't have to hit the red four. Maybe. Remember, you have five up top, right? Oh, yeah, I, I got there. I got it, I got it, I got it. Thank you, sir. Green says, oh, no. Instead of, oh, yeah, he hit orange's cap and said, oh, no. See, he added all up here. Three on one loses. Ah, makes an eight here. Hits my four. Oh, yeah, lose it. Even, that's fine. So he's trying to knock me out of the rest of the board. That's also cool. <laughs> if I go down, orange goes through the two to get to his here. Oh, man. Don't do it to me, dude. I don't have alliances on, but maybe he'll hit that too. Right, cool, cool, cool. We're good. From that 70s show, do the oh no. Oh no! Oh, I, I haven't seen that show in so long. I wouldn't remember that exact event. So green and red placed in a corner and behind a cap? Okay then. Yes. I did get him to hit that too. Sort of with my positioning, which helps me a lot. And now he feels safe to hit the rest of this stuff. Loses one on the pink five. Gross. Four on one? Is he just going to full greed? He hits the pink three, six on three. No, you don't hit green. You hit the pink. Pink's the only one that can add in here. You crazy donk. Well, the eight goes in. He's fine. Right? Ten cap. Uh, so green actually had terrible cap choice locations. His best choice was actually lavatory. Funny enough. He didn't take it. I had a really epic game on lavatory cap uh, within the last week or so. I put on the main channel. Well, this is interesting. Do I break pink so he can't snowball, or do I be his friend? Blue can't do anything to him. I really just want to hit red. Good for you, Green. You got a second card. And smoked a blue stack. That's funny. I have the kill guard on green, which is cool. Technically, and red. So here's a scenario where if I was allied with orange or with pink, I would, or if alliances were on, I would send the alliance to pink and give him a thumbs up and then I would move away. Yep, stack here and try a 3v1. That's right, lose the 3v1. Do it. Lose your 3v1. Taste it. You're crazy, boy. Broy. Uh -huh, makes the three there. Okay. Is he coming for me? 
I think I have to card skip, but he gets a big trade. I don't know if card skipping is going to work. Uh, let's try this. Ooh la la, let's go, baby. Now, will I get the will I get a dude or a truck to keep the wilds? No, because it's Alcatraz. I never actually get to keep my wilds in the first rotation when I get them early. Green has bad choices. Red is just a potato. Yes, red had. I mean, okay, red had basement stairway. It wasn't good after the blue pink caps, but he also had uh, cell room south passage, which is actually a good cap. I also have an Alcatraz game where I capped here. That's coming out soon. That was a banger game. Um, he also had a four on here, so yeah, he could have trapped me and card blocked me. I would have had the bonus butting up behind him, but it is often uh, a play people like to make on Alcatraz is capping up here to card block the person that's getting the bonus to eventually either die to them or kill them. Depends. Yep, now I have a two and a five separated by this three or splitting. It's hard to knock me out of there. I let or uh, pink hold. So orange has his bonus. We let pink hold. Pink and orange maybe fight or maybe uh, something kicks off down here. We'll see. What's red do? Cap in the lavatory equals the throne. Answer, you move out of the way. Let orange be the dick. Yeah, I'm going to let orange and pink fight. That's uh, You're right. That's what I'm thinking. Let these guys deal with each other. I have a problem with red. I have the kill guard on green. Which might be good, or, and green might get fed to me, or might green might get fed and then trade on three and be stuck behind me. And might blitz his stuff into me like a psycho before. Like, this guy's still in the game. This guy kamikaze everything he had, and he's still in the game. By the way, Red just lost all of his troops, trying to knock my two out. And he made Pink's life way easier. Blue's about to die to Pink. No, Blue's going to trade early and go back to Cap. I don't know. Oh, man. Red rolled 5v2 and lost it. That's good. Do I think red trades early or no? Do I think red trades earlier or no? Oops. I mean, honestly, orange and pink are both incentivized not to take a card. They were there. Wait. I mean. But he's going to break pink. So he takes a card. Pink might trade and come back. There's some shenanigans happening. Yeah. So instead of them card... Uh, skipping. They are getting cards. If green trades on three, does it add to the four or the five? The five can swing, so... Or no trade. Bertilisk is a genius? Ha! <laughs> Bertilisk has spent 69 days, four hours, and 20 minutes watching Kilted. Damn it, he hit the perfect number. It's uncanny how I timed that. Now I'm scared that I'm going to get an alert that I don't see because the last two alerts didn't play on time. <clears throat> I will keep an eye. We have 110 viewers. What's up, dudes? What is up? Pretty good uh, viewer count for uh, being live at the same time as Pete. Mathematicians hate him. But we got Alcatraz. He's got a stalemated tournament game. I'm sure a bunch of you have his game open too. Is he still in that stalemated game on the Vikings ships map or did he go to the final game? Red takes a card. Tries to take my two. I hope you get toasted. Get toasted as Vampire Chicken would say. No, he didn't. Actually, I want him to get the card, but I also want him to lose all his troops. Mm-hmm. Runs back to here. Oh, he's getting ready. He's preparing for my cap. Okay. They've got his kill guard here, too. This is very weird. So I don't trade. 
We'll make sure this is big. Uh huh. Truck! We get to keep our wild card, baby. So Red trades and does whatever he does, but after he trades and does whatever he does, I trade and clean him, and then pray he has no set on three. And then we're laughing. Or kill him if he does something stupid. Still destroying pink, but pink hasn't traded yet. Does pink trade go for a blue kill? No. Not when the trades are little dingus. Sarum South plus two. Plus two on my seven, baby. Hopefully it stands. Can a fisherman guarantee you a fish? I should have went left and in, so I got a straight shot, but whatever. Do the reach around with a split to do the stuff, whatever. Whatever. If he leaves a 13 here, orange may not try to break him next turn. But he does have to worry about blue trading on three and hitting him. Looks like the tournament's now finished. Cool. Can a fisherman guarantee you a fish? I mean, if they're really good and they're at the right area, maybe? It's been a while. How you been? What's up, Rugster? Uh, I'm good. How are you, man? I haven't been competing, you know? I know you've been still around, right? You're competing. I, I hear your name mentioned sometimes. Green Trades puts everything over here. He wants an infinite trade with blue. Green full rim Green? Imagine you capped in lavatory when you were making these plays. Imagine you had the lavatory cap. That's all I'm saying. Red gets the trade. Here comes the Ram Dingle. You better lose this. You better absolutely taste it so hard. It's going to hit my seven. I want my plus two on this. I want you to fail this. He's doing the reach around. So if he does fail it, I can come back with the straight shot. Oh, you're toast. This is not winning. It's like a 4% chance you win this. It's not a 4%. It's way better than that. Cool. With the red one here, I can't even kill him. I, I respect this play here, but we will see. Blue wants me to clear green, I guess. Kind of want to clear blue. I do have a trade on three, right? These snipers are getting very easy to spot. I mean, it's very easy to join my games, right? But I don't know as a very odd play. I mean, I can clear green, but then he doesn't open blue. And blue's on one card. So, okay, we'll clear green. I won't hold the green kill guard. Is that what you wanted? I have a wild card, so I'm fine with this. Time off is good. Mamba's taking some time off as well. Hell yeah. I mean, he's been dominating, so why not take a break? Play some League of Legends and stuff. I know he loves playing League. Oh, this time you didn't get the breaky poo, baby. You got smoked on the dice roll. That doesn't, yeah, Blue's play here doesn't make a lot of sense. I mean, if he, yeah, so my it, my immediate suspicion is that he wants me to hit green so he can play for the green kill and not trade with green a lot. He doesn't want green in here because he wants the bonus that he's going to be blocked behind pink. Something like that. <laughs> the question is, do I trade on three here? Because now red does get a fourth card. And my fear was him getting a fourth card. I was going to make a big play keeping red on three. And if he had no set, yeah, blue can't do anything about the 19 now. Now, if blue wants a card, he has to hit the red one or this eight. And that's red backs the eight up. Also, I take this bonus and stack here. I'm relatively fine because the blue 22 is guarding me. Orange or pink will kill red. Like, I don't necessarily have to kill red. I could just chill. 
Red adds in here to open blue. Interesting. Lose. Lose it. God, that would have been so good. So now blue's going to try to kill green for one card. So he's sitting on five cards at the end of his turn when pink takes this. And I get, I can't do anything. I will be feeding blue to pink. Huh. I'll hit you with the devil face. He wants my sexy cap. I mean, sure. Have fun. Come on, greed. Trade on three. All right. Do I actually have to trade on three here? Uh, trade for 25. Make a... 81. Because if I hit him without trading, I'm on like a 30. Orange and pink may trade. Green may trade. Red will get a massive trade. Like I have to trade, right? If I want a card, I have to trade. Take red's cap, you know you want to. Well, I rolled a 33 cap the other day and lost 93 troops. Well, that was wonderful. Attacker's advantage? 33 on a 22 I lose? Decent roll. You have less to lose this time? Now red blocks you? Yeah, it is what it is. Blue set me up to die to red. It's fine. Like, I know he, he got me to knock green out, but now he literally left the 22 there and forced me to hit it. Now he fucking dies. And green. If, if pink kills both of them, they get the trade off this, but he could get bad dice. Which would mean... Wait, split five off. Oh no, he's killing green and leaving blue. Oh, he kills blue next. Alright, I'm not last. Not being last is good. I would have rolled that cap there every day. It's true random, leech. I lost 33 on a 22 non-cap. What do you think I lose to a 27 cap? 60? And then blue's got a 22 here? And then moves out of the way. Red goes through this 22 and just smokes me. I think I lose. I think if I hit the cap, I die. A seven, five. Trolls. Yeah, red trades on four. Try me, big boy. Lose? Can you just one time get really bad dice on something? I have no alliances to ask for help either, unfortunately. Red's also a card ahead of me because I card skipped earlier. Ah. Now pink trades, kills blue trades again. Probably. Blue got himself killed. I win a 10v9 because I'm not unlucky. Okay. Red gets, yeah, 6 before. 66 on. Try that. Fortify 15 off. Hell no. This dude's dice will smoke me. I don't want to lose to this man. We're both from Turkey. We're supposed to be friends. I was going to destroy red. Like, I was actually fully going to destroy red if blue didn't put 22 here. Like, blue fucked this entire game for me. But uh, maybe that was his goal, so. I joined back to see red as a man of culture. Yes. What's up, Johnny? I have to go to work. Pete's not going to sit on his own face. He wishes. Happy dingles. H have a good one, man. Have a good day at work. Yeah, 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 Blue comes off cap, stays off cap, dies. This is what you get, moron. You ruined my game, though, so good, good on you. Jesus. If orange gets open, he's going to kill all of us. I, this is where I wish alliances were on, and I could try to get one of them to uh, knock red out. Comes out. As long as the orange isn't open, he's going to get to hold everything. And uh, red could open orange, I guess. Sure shot was his name. I'd love it if red failed a six on one or a four on one, whatever. He put out here. Back to caps. That's with the 36. Pretty smart. 
Orange is on three cards. Look at those emotes. Lose a 6v1. Taste it. He wants to open orange. So, in doing this, Pink, you should think about knocking red out of the middle. Just saying. How big are the trades? 55. Jesus. He's going to hit the 36 now, thanks to red. He loses 22 on a 36. I lost 33 on a 20. This game is broken. Now he's blocked pink. Unless pink has a set or wins a 14 v 20, he's card blocked. And it's his own fault. Because of his fortification. Although if he brought the 20 up here, it would have been the same thing. The only person that could have screwed him was, well, me and red. Oh, he's got a trade. Bro, knock red out of everywhere. Knock him out of everywhere! He's going to just sit and chill. But then orange can trade and hit you again. Please hit red. Well put. Yes. Well put. More red. Well put. No, 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 no! That's not enough! He's just going to leave a stack out here to hopefully get cards. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we're praying for no trade on three for red. That's what we're actually praying for. He's going to have it, though. They always do. It's okay. Gives us a fourth place. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ah. What up, Red? What up, bro? Uh-huh. Taste it. Imagine he has no set on four. Now he gets to put 70 on this. Make a 131 on 90 or 89. Or a 136 if orange trades right now. GG red. Well, that's the last card red gets. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to win the cap roll. He wins the cap roll. Orange didn't trade, though, which is great. So it's 70. 65 with five. First cap in his territory. So he gets 70. So 131 on 89. That's his last play. SMG gets to decide which one of us lives. Red gets another card. See, CPA knows what's going on. Now we get suicide and still lose. No, 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 no. We win. He slams us. We get one card off of him. We'll have a set on three next. Uh, Orange is not open to us. His trade won't kill us in time. It's all wonderful. Things are good. Things are looking good. Yeah. Orange's next trade's going into pink again, right? Oh, he doesn't have to. Pink's guarding back here, so. And he's trying to keep cards and then break the bonus, opens them for cards. Here it is. Bring it daddy time. If he doesn't have a set on four, that's hilarious. Ooh. -hoo. Ooh. Ooh. We saving it? That's fine. Every turn he saves it, I get five more troops on my cat. He's going to knock Pink out of the middle and block him now? Oh. Okay. I'm still on 12 territories. 
Oh, breaks him. Does he sit there with the 57? He's going to slider blitz him? It's true random, doggy. Okay, interesting. Blow 20 into kill 30 because you're god dice. No, that didn't work for you. What you really need to do is just bring 50 troops off your cap. Well, yeah, you can bring 50 off because I'm not fucking anywhere close to a, a, a anything right now. He doesn't need to bring 50. He could do 20 or something, but... Pink can get through with a 26 versus 38 if he's lucky. 25 versus 38. Pink can alternatively come off with everything, but now he risks Gorge having a set on three. So Pink did this to himself. He didn't have enough out. But I mean, it's it's tough. This orange cap is much stronger than this one. Puts like a 90 here. You need a lot. Because if orange has a set, you're screwed. And if he fortifies most of it off, you're screwed. The downside here is my five has to hit a three, so I have to add alternative to it. To take a card on a one. <clears throat> Aha, red. Don't worry, I'll get a set soon enough. What are we looking for? Car? Don't worry, bro. We'll get that car. He's holding his set until you're on three. Not the smartest move. Oh, yeah. We're, we're all just assuming he's, he's holding his set, right? <laughs> Just to see if we can get the maximum amount of troops out of it, right? In case in case Orange traded on three here. 28 kills 43. That's really good. He's going to fortify another eight down. Me holding 12 territories? Really strong. I am dominating right now. By the way, the troops, because these two are fighting, their bonuses are hilarious. Um, If this fight can last long enough, now he's got a set though. So if Pink comes off too much, he needs to win a 26 versus 40. He really needs, and then it's set on three. That's what he needs. I think Orange is going to win the game. And I think I'm going to get second. Unless, unless Orange wins the game so fast and Red does have a set he's been holding, then I think I might get third, unless Orange is going to let me kill Red. My friend is the Red player, and he told me he has the trade. Thanks, Gomer. You're a card behind Orange for the lead. That's the only difference. Yeah. The downside, though, is if Pink fortifies off this cap, Orange is just going to kill him. He should just blitz this and hope to, to dice bail him. Okay, it's working. If he gets a card and a set on three, we're, like, I really want that to happen for him. I'm wishing for you. If it's, uh, if it's Hua Sita. No, 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 no. That's game over. If it's too much, it's game over. Okay. That's... Respect. <laughs> All right, Red Boy. Throw your trade in or you risk dying. Unless you're here with us, then you know I have no set yet. I don't think he's here with us. I'm just... Guarantee my card. I actually think I'll lose the roll. 111 and 75, 186. I mean, I shouldn't lose. It's going to be 95%. 69! Teaser McGeezer over here. But actually, wait, if he's getting 16 a turn only, he can only make this an 85. If Pink puts everything here, it's possible the 85 doesn't get through. Now he's going to back off now. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Accept it, but take it slow. I have another problem going on, so. Orange has no set, so this would be the turn for me to go him. All right, it's an 81, not a 76. Every turn I wait, my future gets more in doubt. Screw it. Take him out. Put this here. All right. Wild 
card, baby. <laughs> Roll again. Yeah, I was thinking about leaving it for like another turn so I could kill it and then have like a trade, but then a guaranteed trade now. Like if I waited one more card, I, I would have killed it and I'd be on four now going into my next turn, which is much more likely I can trade just in case something happens here. But then orange risks having the set on three, so. chilling i don't need to do anything funky but yes i'm thinking some of the things that you guys might be thinking we're all thinking some of the same things orange has devious intent he definitely does Bring them more out. Uh, 1v1. Now he's going to block me if he can. Well, he can't. Unless the 13 can get all this. That's fine, because I can trade and fortify to here. If he brings 100 in. He can't bring 100 in. He can't afford it. Yeah. Back to cap. Yes. Yes, he didn't trade on 4. So I lucky he didn't trade on 4 there. Pink comes in with a 69 on 13 roll. Woo -woo. We're in it. And now Orange can't get to me. Slime Orange's cap. No, no, no. Pink waiting until Orange has a set to move out. Nice play. And now here we go. We're in the game. I made an enemy. That's okay. We like enemies. They are fun. That's pretty fine. Orange is going to trade here, so we'll see what happens. He might start working on a card block on me. But then I'll come out and sit here with everything. Maybe. It's extremely risky if uh, pink opens and he might go for my kill as a last-ditch effort. Realistically, I'm only 50 troops behind him. Pink's 100 behind. Or whatever. 100 behind the median of it. Or the middle of us. Yeah, he's he's blocking me now. That's his plan. I have this set on three, though, doggy. Like, I don't blame him, right? He had a card block on pink, and then I stopped it. So now he wants to card block me. Okay. And breaks, but he wants to card block both of us.
imagine we both have a set on three. He has no more cards, though. Like, this is all he's got, right? No set on three for pink. 100 comes out. You need to bring a lot out, dude. Also, I can card block orange here, sort of. Right? Like this. Orange is card blocked now. Unless he hits the pink 44. That sucks because I the no soldier car wild. Never mind. I thought it was a soldier that my wild replaced. I'd love if he lost this roll too. We're in this game, baby. Are you gonna try to take a card or are you gonna chill? Cards are worth a lot. Oh! <laughs> Yes, I see it, boys. He's a four in here. One seventeen is trapped. Great game here. It's true random too, baby. So like, if this was balanced blitz, I win right now. But it's true random. I lose 150 on this, right? So at the end of this kill, I have 80, and then I trade, I have 160. And less cards than orange. The pink kill is there, and if this is balanced blitz, I win the game that turn. It's true random. I'm going to lose 150 on this. By the end of that kill, I'm going to have at most an 80 stack, probably less. And then I'll trade for 100. I'll have 180-ish and three cards at the end of my get turn. And then he's going to trade and he's going to take something from me. And I mean, maybe I can guard these two caps, but he's going to reset up the double card block and I'll be on three cards. And then orange will have the, the better position and the card block on me. So the, the alternative here is if pink has no set on four, I can do the same thing with the 221 block. So pink no set here and I win. Now I win. Waiting the turn was worth it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Screw you, blue player. Screw you, Ferdinand. Now, of course, this is true random, so anything could happen. <laughs> Orange sees it. Uh, I get a trade off this, so I can do this. I guess I could have left an extra card, but it's fine. I can do that in here, I guess. That was a, it ended up being a good roll. He's only on two cards. He had a wild and a trade. So it's his own fault he dies there. By the way, lavatory is a great trade because that's where my stuff is. Math. GG, baby. <laughs> we got him. I mean, he puts the 221 in my face, right? I'm assuming. I actually have to use the wild here? That sucks. 110. I mean, I if I don't get through this, then the game is very stupid. It leaves the two behind. If I don't get through this, the game is very stupid. I had a 1% chance. Ooh, baby. 99? Ooh, baby. And well played. Alcatraz, baby, true random dice, all the shenanigans.
Letting pink out just long enough to mess with orange and then turning on orange. Dude, surviving red, surviving blue and red shenanigans. Excellent. Orange was a master. Yeah, orange played that very well. Uh, his pokey ball was not strong enough today. Oops, I misclicked something. Anyways, thank you for joining to the end of the video. This is a second channel video for sure. Please subscribe if you're new here and I'll catch you in the next one.